Hey folks, my name is Kirsten. I'm here with the Marks Group and today I'm going to walk you through territory management. So let me share my screen with you. Great. So we're going to start with territory management in the setup page, which is the gear in the top right. We're going to go to users and control and then down to territory management. As you can see, I still I already have a few territories set up in here. When you first come in here, you'll be given the option to either create territories from scratch or to inherit them based on role hierarchy. So mine have been created from scratch in here. We'll take you over here and look at our Marks Group account. You can see that the roles have already been defined from here. And so when we created territory management, we went up and set the inherit from roles. So you can now see the difference between them. I'm going to go back to my system. Um, so I want to add a territory in here. Actually, let me back up. So all of these territories are hierarchical and report to Carlson Consulting, which is always going to be there, um, the name of your org. To add a new territory underneath here, just click the little plus. It will automatically default to the parent territory. The territory name, I'm going to call it Mid-Atlantic. Assign the manager. The manager has rights to assign other users and to remove other users from the, from the territory. Um, if I wanted to add other users in here, I could. I don't have the other users, so I won't. You can give them the permission to read only or read, write, delete. If you have it set so that you're not record sharing um, and they're not the owner of the record, when you select read, write, delete, they will be able to view, read, write, and delete those records anyway. If you have other um, settings in your security controls that limit their ability or a user's ability to do things like delete, then that will override this. And so they'll be able to read or write, but not delete. So. Get that set up like that. Next thing to do is put in your account rules. Um, your, you add the criteria in here. Please note that you are limited to 25 criteria. So we're gonna do this based on the billing state, mid-Atlantic. So we're gonna add in New York. And Pennsylvania. We're going to grab in Maryland. And we're also going to add New Jersey. OK, so because I want them to look for either of these, then I'm actually going to switch these to ORs. And we can add a little description in here if we need to, and then go ahead and click on Create. So you can see that my Mid-Atlantic um, territory has been created. It is still at the same level of all of these others, and I want my Pennsylvania, my New York, and my Maryland to go underneath the Mid-Atlantic, and I also want to add New Jersey to this list. So to reassign a territory, you come in here, click the Edit button, and we're just going to reassign that parent territory to Mid-Atlantic. And save. We're gonna be asked if we wanna find the accounts and run the roles. Right now, we're not gonna run the roles because I'm gonna set up several at the same time. So we're gonna come back in here, do the same thing with New York. Under Mid-Atlantic. We'll run those rules later. We're gonna add Maryland. Cool. So, to add a, another child territory to the parent territory of Mid-Atlantic, you simply go in and create that new territory directly underneath it. It'll default to Mid-Atlantic as the parent territory. So we're gonna call this New Jersey. I assign myself as the manager. I don't have any other users, but we're gonna give them read, write, delete. Um, same, ru or same rules as before. So our billing state is gonna be New Jersey. So now I'm actually going to come in here and assign the territories based on my rules. So you can simply click over there. We're going to search our accounts by territory, include all of our subterritories, search, and run the rules. So the assignment is in progress. Depending on how many records you have, it will take a little time or it'll take a lot of time. So I don't have many records in here, so it shouldn't take much time at all. I'll come over here and show you what an account is going to look like once it's been assigned. So let's give it a little refresh, see if those went in yet. All 
All right, so it's already gone through. So now you can see we have Georgia, Florida, California, Washington, and Kansas as their own territories. We've also got Mid-Atlantic. So we can go to Mid-Atlantic and choose Mid-Atlantic only or Mid-Atlantic and its subterritories. What's actually gonna happen is um, multiple territories can be assigned to a, a single account, which is what will happen when we look at Mid-Atlantic. So then underneath Mid-Atlantic, we have Pennsylvania, New York, Maryland, we got our New Jersey. We can also look at anything without territories, things with multiple territories, and we can look at all territories. I wanna show you what that looks like with an account. Here is my Barks Select Clothing. I come in here and see that it is assigned to the territory of Pennsylvania. I can actually um, go in here and manually assign if I want to. If you manually assign a territory, then your only way to get rid of it is to manually unassign it. So here it is in my account. I have, can also look and see that it is assigned to my contacts underneath that account. And if I go down to my deals, you can see that my territory is also assigned to the deal. So that's about all there is. Territories are a great way for you to manage your sales groups without having to constantly change around who's assigned to what record. If somebody leaves and somebody else joins, you just plop them in that new territory and you're ready to go. Thank you all and have a great day.